Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be torture testing some military armor. We're gonna explain how it functions, and then finally, we're gonna explain the differences between military armor and the standard AR-500 steel that we use as shooting targets. So the targets today were donated by xsteeltargets.com. They asked us to torture test the armor plate in order to show the difference between military armor and your standard AR-500 steel targets. The difference comes down to performance. AR-500 steel is incredibly hard and is designed to take small arms fire repeatedly, reliably, and without taking damage. Now that armored plate is meant to protect troops from things like improvised explosive devices. So that's really good at absor absorbing energy and heat. So tomorrow what we're going to do is take our target down to the range and throw it through an entire gauntlet of challenges. We have all types of small arms calibers from 9mm to 223 to 762 by 39 which is a common round that the AK-47 fires. Then we're going to kick it up to 308 Winchester. Then we have some specialty shotgun ammunition including Ultimate Punishment which fires a slug, birdshot, and buckshot. Then we're going to finish it off with some armor piercing 12 gauge ammunition. So we have a whole gauntlet of ammo to test against that thing and then if it should pass that or fail we're going to bring it back and then test its heat resistant capabilities by subjecting it to some thermite. So it's going to be an exciting test and I look forward to getting out there. Direct hit. That's Tyler. Uh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Nice. Oh, that's the end of that one. In three, two, one. So we're back on day two. Let's take a look at our armored plate. Here are the results. It stopped everything but the 308. Now we weren't able to connect with that armor piercing 12 gauge ammunition. It was really inaccurate and we didn't want to get close enough to where we'd put ourselves in danger. So we had a little bit of indentation from the 223 to the 762 by 39, but that 308 punched right clean through. Now, next up we're going to be testing the heat resistance of this armored steel by utilizing thermite. Thermite is a mixture of aluminum powder and iron oxide, also known as rust, and it burns at about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So if anything can puncture this with heat, it's going to be thermite. So here's our armor plate after all the testing. The thermite didn't even damage the front of the steel plate, let alone penetrate it. So this is some really tough stuff. Now at this thickness, you'd see similar performance of AR-500 steel, and uh, this isn't as brittle. So keep that in mind if you see this online, because this type of armor might actually be available to the public very soon via xsteeltargets.com. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video of us testing our military armor, and uh, please click subscribe if you did. It really helps us out. See you next time.